YouTube, a Red Rider is not a firearm. Welcome back to the Loki Air Gunner YouTube channel. In this episode, we're going to install this buck rail Picatinny scope mount on my adult size Red Rider. This will allow me to put a Picatinny slash Weaver optic or scope on my beloved BB gun. I will be installing this red dot sight slash reflex sight on it. It is the AUK eye by Buckrea.com. I'm clearly getting sick. Okay. So let's jump right into it. All you need is a screwdriver to take this screw off. Once you got that off, you simply want to remove the... Maybe you should start by doing this. You just lift up and pull this way and the front ramp will get out of the way. Now you want to insert this in there. This is pretty tight. I'm not liking those noises. This is a bit harder than I thought to slide in there, but it is now on. So sliding this this way or this way will give you some adjustments for the side. If you want to remove the scope one day, next you want to put the little washers on. I will install all three washers, but I believe Terry said in the buck rail video that you, you don't really need them it will work but this can provide more elevation and since the the receiver is kind of flattened by the screw it is good to put at least one or two or I don't know tell us Terry <laughs> this is kind of a pain to put in there Make sure the stock is straight and fine. Three washers will be way too much for what I want to do, I believe. I will slide only one in there to see what it looks like. One looks like it is good enough, so I will use only one. You don't want to tighten this too much if you want to use the adjustable rail thing. You can slide it back and forth a little bit to give you more elevation or less elevation, depending on what kind of shooting you want to do. I will put it right like this, tighten it, tighten it and go take a quick look at what it looks like. It looks like a bit much. So if I move this forward, this is too much. I kind of like, like the look better though. Do I go for looks or do I go for elevation? with my iron sights. We might be going for a look because I kind of don't like it like this. And I don't think it is really lining up any better. I decided to go for looks and make it flush with the Red Rider receiver because I cannot really get the adjustments I had before anyway and I think it looks better like this. Is this tight enough? You want this to be tight enough but not too tight to not break the, pla the plastic or your stock obviously.
So this is on there really good. I used only one washer under there and make sure to not lose your side ramp. So now I guess I can unbox this nice Alk Eye reflex sight. This is pretty basic instructions, so we should be good to go without them. In the Alk Eye reflex sight box, you have a, a cloth to wash it. Instructions, included battery, some silicate that will go into my pellets. Uh, you also get the wrenches to put it on and adjust it. And of course, the Alk Eye Reflex Sight, which has some weight to it. I like that. It feels a lot better than my Crossman plastic red dot. But it is a Reflex Sight, which I do like. So it will be interesting to try this out on this Red Rider. It looks so cool. You also get this rubber, how do you call this? Rubber dust cap. Okay. This is a 3V lithium battery. You get a rubber dust cap and that's pretty much it. Let's start by putting the battery in it. It usually helps to see the dot. <laughs> I assume this is the battery cap. Looks like I'm assuming decent stuff. I assume it goes like this, but you never know. Plus side up. So this is the plus side up. Thanks. Well, the cover kind of gets in your way, so you might want to remove that. How the hell I remove that? The dust cap is kind of hard to remove, but it is there, I guess. That's kind of weird. <laughs> I, I'm not sure to like the dust cap, but it is what it is. If the reflex side is working okay, that will be just fine. There we go. I did the little backward, backward, and it did the righty, righty, tighty. Will it work? Hopefully, it will. So, this is on G. Oh, it is on. There is a little switch out here to change the reticles. You cannot really see it in the camera but there's a little bit of a weird box around the the cross which is not too bad but you also get this one which is pretty cool but also has some a bit of a circle around it and you get the regular small dot which looks pretty good so this is the one i'm gonna go with by the way i forgot to say that there is five uh, intensity for the light and two colors so if i want to put it on green one green two green three green four and green five so it is pretty cool and then you land on off red but then you land on red one red two three four and five which is pretty cool so you get three different reticles and five different brightness settings for each colors it is a pretty cool unit for not too much money hopefully it works good let's install it and see what happens you simply unscrew the two Allen screws 
and that will spread the Picatinny and choose where you want to put it. I think I will put it right there. You usually want a red dot to be kind of forward on your rail to have a better field of view, but I don't think it really matters on the red rider. But it, it looks pretty good right there, so make sure you are clamping on both sides. It is now pretty tight on there. I will need to adjust it. And this is why I kind of got the laser sight on first to use the laser sight to match the red dot with. For now, I gotta go, but I will test this hopefully later tonight or tomorrow. You can tell this by my shirt, I guess the next day so like i said i installed the laser first so i can adjust the red dot easily by match matching the red dot on the target to the red dot from the red dot side i, I don't know if it makes any sense but but it does okay I know this video is getting pretty long already, but I wanted to show you guys how far from the laser it was. So I might actually need to use more shims in the future to not be at the limit of the scope adjustment. By the look of it, this one might have preferred using two or even three washers. I don't really know. How many MOA you get per washers but the reflex sight provided me enough adjustment to match the laser sight the adjustment was a bit spongy on one side but very clicky on the other which was a bit weird but for this price range all I want is that it does adjust so it is fine don't forget to use the locking screw if you want your zero to stay there and also don't forget to use shooting glasses especially with BB guns so now after two days of trying to make this video I might be able to try this reflex sight Or maybe not. I hope you guys enjoyed the effort I put into my videos and time and leave me likes and comment and subscribe for more and stuff like this. Can someone tell me if I'm really blind or if it is normal to not see a BB hole from around 20-22 feet? I will now shoot a couple more to see if my zero is decent even though I only adjusted it for elevation I got one pretty bad flyer but not too bad overall I was fine with this elevation but I wanted to move the point of impact to the right a little bit for some reasons while moving this way there was no distinct clicks so I went a little bit random And remembered pretty quick that red dots are a bit different than scopes when you try to adjust them. That was not a horrible three shot group from a red rider but 
this is the wrong way so I need to get it back to the right now While going back the other way, the adjustment felt really nice and had very audible clicks. So I gave it 10 clicks before taking 3 shots to check my zero. which seems to be pretty right on. So now I will shoot at the last target that I had, which is a dollar store sticker painted with a marker. For the first 5 shots I got around a 1 inch group which is decent for a red rider from 20 to 22 feet. I marked the hits because I knew that my position could affect the point of impact which it did. So keep in mind red dots are low parallax but it doesn't mean they are parallax free. Even though this is not my best shooting with the Red Rider yet, because I did better with the laser last time, it is really fun to shoot with a red dot and I cannot wait to try it with a scope, which might be a little bit more accurate. I don't know which size is the dot itself on this reflex side, but you know, scopes are better. But I need to buy some Picatinny rings to be able to mount one of mine. And this reflex sight is perfect for some can plinking, like the Red Rider is pretty much made to do. But it looks like my bad eyes prefer the laser sight yet, to be confirmed, I guess, in the next episode with this bad boy fully customized. Thanks to Buckrail for the awesome 3D printed products. I suggest you head over to their website if you want to get some for yourself. Or to Aragon Archery Fund if you are from Canada and want to save some shipping or custom fees. Thanks for watching this long video up until the end. As always, if you want to support the channel, subscribe comment, like, and I will see y'all in the next one. By the way, follow Buckrail on Instagram.